It is incredibly easy to become overwhelmed by all the educational products out there, especially science kids. It's a nice problem to have for homeschooling families, and picking the right one can sometimes seem a bit daunting. In this week's video, we're going to be discussing why... In this week's video, we're going to be reviewing the top four physics kits that we have used, and we will discuss why one of these kits is hands down a much better investment than all of its counterparts. The top kits that we have used are the Thames and Cosmos Physics Workshop, the Physics Pro Workshop, the Solar Workshop, and the Simple Machines Workshop. We will be discussing the topics covered in each of these kits, the pricing, the age recommendations, and the pros and cons of each kit. So by the end of the video, hopefully you'll know which kit is right for your homeschool, cooperative, or general educational needs without having to spend your money on a kit that might not be what you're looking for. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you are not familiar with Thames & Cosmos, they are a company that has published more than 250 unique science kits since 2001. These kits range from $10 to about $100, and they are highly regarded by parents, teachers, and members of the toy and educational product industries. At least that's what their website says. In the world of YouTube videos, you're supposed to save the payoff until the end of the video. But to break away from the norm, if you're in the market for a science, especially a physics kit, this is the one that you need the Thames & Cosmos Physics Workshop. If you're interested in starting off with your first kit or potentially adding the kits you already have, this is the one you're gonna want, and I'm gonna use the rest of the video to explain why. The number one reason that I recommend this kit above all others is the associated workbook that comes with it. Every page of this kit is chock full of science, page after page of great science information designed to supplement all the demonstrations that come with the kit. If you compare it to the Physics Pro workbook, look how the pages, especially toward the end, have very little science discussion going on with the pictures. The same could be said for the other workbooks as well. They definitely don't have the level of science discussion. I mean, look at the size of the Simple Machine book. Get that out of here. It was real disappointing to see the Physics Pro have less discussion than the regular physics kit. And to really get nitpicky, the Physics Pro workbook has 96 pages, while the Physics Workshop has 64 pages. But you can see how the thicknesses of the workbooks are essentially the same. The pages themselves in the Physics Workshop book are actually quite thicker and are higher quality than the Pro Workshop, which feels more like magazine store shelf quality. I do like how the Physics Pro Workshop does come with the self-assessment at the end for some objective measures to ensure your learner did learn something while doing the exercises. But if you had 96 pages in your manual and you only came in with seven questions at the end, I feel that was a little bit of a letdown. Here is another reason the quality of the workbook is key. I've said in other videos on this channel that in doing science, you can actually cross cover a lot of other subjects simultaneously. For example, in reading the science literature that comes along with the exercise that you're doing, yes, while you're learning science, you are also potentially covering your reading for the day. And if you get real creative and have your learner underline the nouns or adjectives or any other simple activity, you can also knock your English out of the way as well. More often than not, these physics kits will come with exercises in mathematics as well. Spending an hour or two on a science kit, you could in theory get your entire homeschooling checkboxes done in that hour or two. But you can't do that if your workbook is crap. And unfortunately, in some of these, that does apply. In the Thames and Cosmo company, whoever made the physics workshop notebook should definitely get a raise. And whoever made the other workbooks, maybe at least get a stern talking to. The other reason I recommend this kit over the others is the price. While it's not the cheapest kit, that honor goes to the Simple Machines at $29.99. The Physics Workshop is currently for sale for around $50, and you can sometimes get in on sale depending on where you buy it or what time of year it is. And if you opt for the Physics Pro Workshop, that comes in at around $100. And while that's certainly not cheap, it all depends on how you look at it, and let me explain. So let's look again at the Physics Workshop. It has 37 different experiments in it, and at $50, that comes down to about $1.35 an experiment. And if you do two experiments a week, and stretch this out over four months, that's about $2.50 a week. You can stretch that out for almost a semester for about the cost of a cup of coffee per week. So when you look at it like that, yes, it's a lot of upfront cost, but over the course of time, it's pretty economical. And the same math for the most expensive one, which is $100, it has 17 experiments in it. So it's about $5 an experiment. And again, you can stretch those out over months and it takes away the sting, at least a little bit, out of that initial upfront cost. One great thing that all these kits have in common is their durability. As you can see, as I opened the solar power kit for the first time in over a year to do with my son, the last time I used it, we just threw the pieces back in with little regard to caution. And you can see with their build quality, they held up just fine. That's one aspect that makes recommending all of these kits pretty easy, is they're very durable, they're gonna last, and you're gonna get your money's worth over time. Some are more economical than others, but in general, they all last. 
Let's talk about the age recommendation for these kits. The physics workshop, the solar workshop, and the simple machines are all rated for ages eight and up. The physics pro workshop, however, is rated for 10 and up. And while I generally agree with the eight and up recommendations, the physics pro coming in at 10 and up is a little bit of a stretch. I definitely think you're gonna to need to be at least in upper middle grades high school before these concepts are going to be easy to grasp. In no way am I saying that you can't teach your kid these concepts at a younger age. But if you're calculating force and work at 10 or 11 years old, you are probably not watching this video and I should probably be watching yours. So with that being said, save the physics pro workshop till late middle, early high school. Also, the kits that are rated for eight and up are cheaper. So if it's your first investment, you're not having to shell out $100, only to find out that you have purchased a kit that's too advanced for your kids and potentially accidentally discouraged some enjoyment in physics in the process. I haven't spent as much time talking about the solar workshop or the simple machines workshop. We've actually done a dedicated video to this along with the physics workshop on our channel earlier, so you can check those links out if you're interested. But in general, the same pros regarding the economics of the price and the durability of the product apply to these. Their subject matter is a little bit more narrow though. And of course, their worksheet isn't nearly as good as the physics worksheet so keep that in mind as well but getting back to the subject matter the solar workshop just really deals with the conversion of solar energy to electrical energy as you make robotic bills with the pieces that they give you the simple machines kit of course is an introductory to mechanical physics all designed with the six simple machines in mind to help you understand the concept of mechanical advantages this is the cheapest entry to these physics workshop kits the workbook that comes with it isn't as great you don't get as many experiments so i would still get the physics workshop if I were you. So in summary, let's say you have $50 and you want to invest in a science kit. You want it to be great, educational, fun, durable, and last a long time. And for that reason, you're going to want to buy a physics kit. That's not a knock against chemistry kit, and we have done a lot of those. And I'll be doing a similar video using only the chemistry kits down the road. But it's really not fair to compare the durability of a physics kit to the chemistry kit, because once you go through the provided materials in a chemistry kit, you're kind of done with it. You definitely can't keep using it over and over again like you can a physics kit. That's why for this video, we've stuck with the physics kits for their durability aspects. So to get back to my point, you have $50 and you want to buy a science kit. 100%, absolutely, you're gonna want it to be the Thames and Cosmos Physics Workshop. You get the most for the price, it's incredibly durable, the workbook that comes with it, as I mentioned, is top notch, and you get a broad range of educational physics topics to cover. This is your go-to, it will not let you down. So when do you buy the Simple Machines and the Solar Workshop Kit? You buy these kits after you've purchased the physics workshop. You spend a semester really mastering it and you realize you've got a child that really enjoyed it and is really showing an interest in science and specifically physics. That's when you go back and buy one of these kits. It'll be an excellent next step to the physics workshop that they seem to have enjoyed. Which one you buy is pretty much up to you. Although it is pretty neat to see the creations you've made go outside and come to life using the energy it's harnessed from the sun. So I would probably make this the second one. If they show continued interest after that and you've got the money, simple machines. So when do you buy this guy? Definitely not until late middle school. Definitely not until after you've gone through the original physics workshop. Definitely not until they have proven that they really enjoy physics. And probably not until your next paycheck since it's the most expensive of the bunch. I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm not saying it doesn't have the same amount of pros as the other kids. But before dropping $100, make sure they enjoy the topic by purchasing the cheaper ones first. That's it for this week's video. We will definitely be doing similar videos down the road like which chemistry kits to buy, which snap circuit kits to buy, and which biology kits to buy. So if you got any benefit from this video, definitely do all the things below, like like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I do greatly appreciate it. Links to the physics kits that we discussed are all in the description down below. Be sure and check out our website where we have free worksheets to download, free x-rays and other stuff that can hopefully help you with your homeschooling needs. And remember, workbooks are super handy. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next week.